and welcome to this channel everybody, this is the Eradicator and in today's video we are going to talk about something that is right here on the Star Citizen roadmap in Star Citizen Alpha 3.7 something that I noticed the other day when I was talking about features I was excited about in Star Citizen Alpha 3.7 and here we are going to talk about refueling fuel scooping this is actually something that has been a long time coming guys i was looking for information about that because i was wondering if fuel scoping scooping would be something a little bit similar to what we can see uh, in elite dangerous you know in elite dangerous you have to travel to stars and eventually once you are close enough to stars your ship is going to scoop some energy from those stars like hydrogen or other types of gases that will be converted into energy so i really believe that this is something that is going to happen in star citizen i mean it wouldn't be the first time that star citizen takes its inspiration from from elite dangerous and you know there are some really great uh, mechanics in elite dangerous actually that should uh, be maybe not stolen but uh, but maybe uh uh, should be used as inspiration from Star Citizen, definitely. But anyway, we actually do have some information. It turns out that CIG did communicate on this uh, future fuel scooping mechanics, or at least the future fuel mechanics that we're going to have in future iterations. And this is something that happened actually last year. I'm going to show it to you guys right here. And so this is actually a post that was uh, that was actually um, published on the CIG website, as you can see here, on April 14th, 2018. So over a year ago, this was actually released for the introduction of the 100 series, the Origin 100 series. It's called the Shipyard Fuel Mechanics, how it works today and what's in store for the future. And this is really, uh, this is really here where CIG is telling us how things are going to work and they are also giving us strong hints as of how it is going to work in star citizen alpha 3.7 and forward now they are reminding us that the fuel mechanics were introduced right here in star citizen alpha 3.1 so it is with star citizen alpha 3.1 that we started being uh maybe uh, having chances of running out of fuel that fuel eventually got depleted whether you are using it with your regular thrusters in regular space or if you're going in quantum travel and back in these days we used to have these stations these uh, cry astro stations now they are gone we are not going there anymore we are going to rest stops instead the rest stops have replaced the cry astro station unfortunately uh, because i think that they were pretty cool um but and they actually looked like actual uh, gas stations in space and i just liked that idea but you know maybe they will probably uh, come back in the future i think cig did say that they want to bring them back in the future but not for now and so they are telling us in this very interesting diagram here the future of a fuel cycle so you, this is where you would actually scoop um, scoop fuel in gas probably in uh, around gas giants in some gas clouds this is why we need that gas stake that volumetric gas stake is also going to be used for the fuel mechanics there and also around stars which i believe is going to uh, is a system that is going to take its inspiration from any dangerous so it is going to enter the gas is going to enter the fuel intake which uh, actually has two choices it's either going to be refined in the refinery if equipped otherwise it will directly go into the hydrogen fuel tank and this is where it's going to be a problem for ships that don't have a refinery it is going to be far less effective in reality the fuel intake is going to discard some of the gas that you don't need and you will only be able to keep uh, the gas that you need that will be transformed into hydrogen fuel and so that means if you don't have a refinery uh, the the gas you will take will be, I mean, the action, the whole action, the whole process will be less efficient and you will have less fuel in your tank. You, will, you won't be able to go as far as if you actually had a refinery, which um, so then, of course, uh, the hydrogen fuel tank will fill the power plant, which then in case will in return will fuel the thrusters. And that's how you would go. You have all of the details. I put a link in the description down below. You really have all the details here on that page here this also confirms that larger ships 
like the staffer will uh, prob will uh, be will have will be much better at refining gas, whereas uh, the hundred series will only be able to refine very limited series. So, uh, so basically, the smaller the ship is, uh, the less quantities you'll be able to refine. The bigger the ship or the more dedicated the ship is, the more you'll be able to refine. Of course, very interesting here. I'm going to read this paragraph here because I think this is the most interesting. Let's say a gas cloud in space is a mixture of ammonia, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Ammonia would be the most efficient slash dense fuel, so uh, you may be tempted to scoop it, but it's only 9% of the gas composition, whereas nitrogen is 40%. That means it will take you just over four times as long to get the same amount of ammonia plasma as nitrogen plasma. On the other hand, ammonia plasma is higher grade and sells for more. So Basically, it's going to be similar. I think it's going to be a bit similar to mining, where uh, you might uh, you might maybe find some rocks that would maybe contain a small percentage of aggressium and a high percentage of quartz. Of course, you you know you might get a lot of quartz, but quartz is not going to be worth a lot, whereas aggressium is going to be worth much more. So probably they are also going to take some of these mechanics out there. So how fuel will change in a future patch? So uh, obviously in the future we'll be able to call for help and get fuel from any destination. We're already getting uh, that right now in the game, but this is just a tier. It's not a tier zero, it's like a tier one, but there's going to be definitely much more in the future. Interestingly, they're, they're saying that some ships won't have in tanks like combat ships, for example, uh, whereas, of course, long range exploration or industrials will have l larger fuel intakes because of course these are ships that are dedicated for larger distances interestingly look at these competition ships apparently the razor will also be able to refuel whereas the m50 will have a larger tank it's interesting to see how this is going to affect how these ships actually fly the rest is pretty much uh, selling points uh, that encourage you to buy an origin 100 series because that was released for the 100 series so that's what we know about the fuel mechanics it is something that was planned f a long time ago and that is finally going to come into fruition at least partially in star citizen alpha 3.7 anyway this month i've got a giveaway i am giving away a tomboy ranger cv with lifetime insurance it's the perfect space motorcycle if you want to do planet side delivery missions all you need to do to get a chance of winning is to subscribe to this channel and comment to any videos posted this month the winner will be announced early september good luck to everybody out there, big thanks to everybody who helped me getting this new PC. You guys are absolutely awesome. I am forever grateful uh, to you guys. I hope you received uh, your postcards for those who were eligible to. Uh, also, big thanks to all the Patreons who are helping me on a monthly basis. You guys are awesome. I'm promising that I am working on the website. Uh, I hope that I'll be able to release it uh, this year. It's going to be interesting. We're going to have articles. We're going to have merch. Lots of cool stuff. It is all thanks to you guys. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know I promised a long video about uh, everything that goes wrong with 3.7, with 3.6, but unfortunately, my daughter is sick today and I have to take care of her the whole day. So that's why we have a much shorter video, but I'll try to do it tomorrow. I will have much more free time. Uh, all right. So, um, yeah, that's all for this video. Have a great day, everybody, or a great night. This is the Radicator. I'm signing out.